Imagine being told the plan is simple. Shut down your testosterone and hope. The side effects are brutal. Energy gone, intimacy gone, weight up, brain fog on a good day. That was what Bob suffered. PSA was rising, bone metastases lighting up the scans. The system said, obey the playbook. Bob didn't want to do that. He wanted his life back. Not just a lower number, but a better life. Hi, I'm Dr. Dino Prado, and today we're going to cover a prostate cancer case that gives you an idea of the power of precision oncology. My team and I, for the last 25 years, have helped patients that have failed the top hospitals across the country and integrative care using the latest in precision oncology, N of One Care, which is custom designed for each patient using thousands of the state-of-the-art markers and treatment planning. Today I'll show you how deep mapping, precision planning, GTF, genetically targeted, fractionated low-dose chemotherapy that's targeted, direct-to-tumor chemoimmunoprecision injection pinpoints right to the tumor and helps kill the cancer. We'll compare that to the conventional path, side effects, maybe even some of the issues that go along with that so it gives you an idea of what people deal with with late-stage prostate cancer so you can see the difference in a black and white. And in the end, I'll give you a simple checklist that you can ask your doctor when you're looking for care. Now results vary from each patient to patient, but precision targeting helps us so much. And let's start here with Bob. Bob, his PSA was climbed and his scans flagged. He had sclerotic bone lesions and the standard answer came fast. Androgen de deprivation therapy to crush the testosterone and then add more medicine later. And here's the problem. That testosterone blockade can bring hot flashes, loss of libido, erectile dysfunction, fatigue, muscle loss, weight loss, insulin resistance, anemia, you name it. That's not not controversial, that's documented across the literature. And Bob didn't want that. He didn't want to fade out in his life. He wanted to live. So we ran deep mapping, DNA, RNA, immune profiling, spatial biology to expose his drivers and his bone metastasis vulnerabilities. Then we built a plan around his biology, not his brochure, like standard of care, one size fits all, which you hear me talk about. What the argument will be in standard oncology is, well, we don't know, this all looks like research compared to standard of care. But that's not true because today we have data on precision oncology, transcriptomics, we have data on immunoprofiling. It is where oncology is going and we've been leading the way. And what happens is until they find a way to bill it in the standard of care systems, the doctors don't get the training, they don't have access to this in the hospital or these drugs and they're not able to use them. And they, therefore, it's fair to say they're doing the best they can with what they have. But the standard playbook doesn't get it right often. And it hurts when patients go through these processes where they get their prostate removed with robotic surgery have urinary incontinence forever, issues, and then the PSA just rises out of the blue years later. Why? Because they didn't get all the cancer. So let's be fair. The conventional playbook can extend life with metastatic bone cancer using hormone-sensitive blockades. Sure, you can use androgen blockers and doxetaxel and other drugs and it improves overall maybe survival, but it's not the key to overcoming the disease. It may improve it, but it doesn't change the quality of life. And yet the averages in the five-year relative survival is still not very good. It's like 37%. And it should be much higher than that. With precision targeting, that should be the goal. So because many men never get individualized precision plans beyond hormone suppressors, there's a lot of tools. But patients often pay in the quality of life with hot flashes, sexual dysfunction, fatigue, which a lot of men don't want to do. And the cost that can crush families and the coverage is so thin out there of standard of care and what's available. And so the rest, you are basically trying to do care on your own to get help. Bob wanted a different way. He wanted true precision and less collateral damage to help him. And over the years, we've helped so many prostate cancer patients. I'm just picking a story. All different stories. The targeting has made a difference for so many of them. We, in this case, profiled the DNA, next generation sequence, hundreds, five, six hundred markers, RNA, transcriptomics, thousands of markers when you combine these with immune spatial biology which told us why his immune system wasn't working right. Now remember, prostate cancer is a very immune-centric cancer. If you can get the immune system involved, it responds so much better. And we were able to look at the bone metastases and why that was occurring and how to get the immune system working. So these are important things because then with that data, we were able to build the treatments, genetically targeted fractionated chemotherapy where we're using chemo maybe 10% the normal dose, micro dose to go right to the tumors. We used a interventional radiology oncology, which basically is image guide 
guided. So you're laying down and as you're laying down on the table, you can see within the body with images and you just go in with a catheter the size of the hair and it goes right to the tumor areas, treats them, comes out and you're done with a Band-Aid. But you're at 100% where the tumors are and you're creating the kill at that area for the cancer and you're stimulating the immune system with damps. You're triggering damps, these danger signals, damage associated molecular patterns which are hugely important for the immune system. And then we applied the metronomic doses to shut down the blood supply to the tumors and kill them right in with interventional radiology oncology. So this is really state of the art. And we use technology like 3D comb beam and all of the drug designs in our own special pharmacies. And when you combine those, it's not like anybody's typical interventional radiology oncology, specifically designed to help our patients and to treat cancers in a very powerful way. We layered this with phytotherapeutics that were custom designed and matched with the right markers specific to the patient. And in this case, the patient had something called PGP pump overexpression, which basically is a fancy word for every time he got a medicine, his cancer cells would pump out the chemotherapy. So we had to shut those down. And so we use therapies to shut that down and enhance the treatment by being direct. We looked at all the typical important, we looked at all of the important modifiers and targets and treated them. And then we focused therapy direct. We watched the PSA kinetics, we used liquid biopsy, circulating tumor cells, CT-free DNA, methylation scores, and this all tells us if the treatment is working or not and if the cancer is going into remission and it will hold. And this isn't less chemo, it's just much smarter targeting and biology. It's really physics combined with drug targeting and custom drug design for each patient. As the plan rolled out, Bob's pain dropped, energy turned around, feeling better, PSA normalized. The sclerotic scarred areas that were tumors that wouldn't allow the immune system to work, that were cold, became hot, the immune system went to work, we got full remission. And the man who went back to living, not just counting refills and standing by, every case is unique, but in this case, we found the importance of this mapping and targeting. This is the difference of detailed oncology versus standard of care or just integrative care, because it's a playbook from precision care. We want to go beyond just hormone blockades. We want to look at long-term survival. We want quality of life to be top because every patient deserves a high quality of life. And we want to help our patients respond to care with the highest targeting, improve their survival rates, quality of life. And that's why precision is so important because it helps us with those tools. It also helps us reduce side effects and improve immunity, which is the key to long-term responses. I hope this was helpful and it gave you a better idea of prostate cancer and the strategy, at least in this case, and every case is a little different, but it gives you an idea of an adaptive, powerful way of using precision oncology to treat prostate cancer. May the Lord bless you on your journey to healing. <laughs>